hey welcome to another video today we're gonna look at how to build the to do app or we're gonna start building the to do app it's gonna be uh, about five to ten minutes video so we're gonna break it into multiple videos so that it's easier for you to follow all right so at the end of this tutorial we're gonna combine this video for other people who want these videos to be combined all right so most of our viewers want the series to be cut into different series or into different videos but i occasionally receive some comments from other viewers that they want all these videos as one uh long video all right so i'm gonna do the normal five to ten minutes videos and then at the end of this series i'm gonna combine it as one long video as usual we have the codes so this is video number two the first one was the demo of the application and this is setting up the developer environment for the to do app all right so i have all the steps which is just similar to other videos like uh the stock management video so this is almost the same steps i'm gonna skip most of them all right, so first you need to install the Python 3. If you don't already have it, you'll need to install Python 3. And then you're gonna install pip for Python 3. That is step number two. Then at step number three is where you're gonna install the virtual environment. All right, so again for Python 3, all right? So you're gonna do pip3 install virtual env. And then after installing the virtual env you can now use that venv or the virtual environment to create a virtual environment and this will be the name of the environment all right and again for python 3 all right so i'm gonna move to step number five so this is where you will activate the environment so that's right where i'm gonna start all right so because i already have the previous uh environments or i've already prepared the environment so we're gonna jump right at step number five so if you're new to django i'll link a video at the upper right hand corner of this video so that you can click it and see how to do all this from the first step all the way up to this last step so in that video i took my time to explain all what this means okay i already have about two videos doing the same thing all right so i'm gonna open my terminal Okay, so I'm gonna navigate into my Django folders, then I have to do app. This is the folder that I'm gonna create the environment in. So if I do ls, you can see I already have an environment created right here. Okay, so that was the step number four. That is the name of the environment there. All right, so I will need to uh, activate the environment by going to venv. Okay, so I can now do source being activate. And then in the environment is where you're gonna install the Django. So this is the command to do that. Pip tree install Django, which I've already done. So I'm gonna move to step number seven, where you're gonna create the Django project. All right, so like I explained all of these steps in the previous videos. So I'm gonna link it up so that you can follow it if you're new to Django, okay. So now here I'm gonna do this command to create the projects django admin.py start project then the name of the project will follow so i'm going to name my project as django project now if i do ls i should be able to see the project created right here okay so as usual i will always change this project to src I'm gonna do mv django project to src okay so i can now move into src and then this is where i will have all the source codes so that's why i name it as src and again i will refer you to that video for all the explanation okay so now what we want to do is to create a, a super user so that we can uh, use that to log in. But before doing that, we can uh, start the server. I don't manage the py run server. Okay, so if I do this localhost colon 8000, you can see Django is installed right there. All right, now if I want to log into the admin portal, 
by doing admin I'll have to have uh, the tables created right here we have no such table Django session okay so before you can do this you will have to do make migrations migrate and then migrate in fact that is not necessary so you can just do migrate straight so this will create all the tables that we needed to be able to run Django admin all right now if I refresh the screen oh I need to start the server by doing run server again and then refresh so we should be able to have a login screen now before you can log in you have to create uh, a super user I'm gonna stop the server again and then create a super user Alright, I'm kind of guilty that I'm going too fast, but like I said, every single step that I'm doing, I've done it twice on this channel. So just go and then view that video and you'll see all the steps are going to be very clear. Okay. Alright, so you're going to now type the username or I can just press enter and it will suggest the username. So I'll press enter again then I can do the email and I'll do the password. I'm gonna repeat the password again okay so once the account is created you can now log in with your username and your password again the server needs to be running before we can do that so I'm right in the application through the admin okay so this is what I just did I created the super user account and I logged into the server now we want to create the to do app okay now this is the command to start the app python manager py start app then the name of the app i'm gonna name this app to do all right so i'm heading back to the terminal stopping the server i'm gonna do manage the py start app to do so remember this name of the app is what we're gonna add in the settings okay so I'm going to go to the settings and then add this app name so that we can do migrations for the app. So right now, all the migrations are for the project and the default uh, applications that comes with Django. So before we can do a migration for this app, we'll have to add it into the settings. All right. So I'm going to go to settings. But before that, I'll open the text editor you can use any text editor I use sublime as my text editor so I'm gonna open sublime now I'm gonna open a folder so that I can code all this in one window I'm gonna go to file open folder so this is where I have the app to do app and VNV I'm gonna open SRC and I click open all right so here is the entire file structure of the application now if you want to get access to the settings i'm going to expand the project then we have settings.py so right below here is where i'm going to add the to do app so that's the name of the app that we just created i'm going to click save and then we'll need to create a database for this app and that's the code i have right here i'm going to copy the model and paste it in models.py for the app so if you expand to do i'm gonna see models.py so right here i'm gonna paste that model so the name of the table will be task and then it's gonna have five fields so the first field will be the id which is not shown here but it is created when we are doing make migration and migrate okay so the next field will be the title field that's going to be the title of the task and then you're going to have complete that is if you complete any task you can mark it as complete and it's going to be a boolean field all right a boolean field so we're going to have created that is the date time field that will be the actual time you created that task 
okay so you're gonna have you so this is what we're gonna use to count down towards the end of that task all right so we're gonna save this and then do make migration and then migrate I'm gonna do migrate okay so this table is now created in the database so if you want to see how it looks in the database still I refer you to that video where I explain it in depth okay now before we are able to see this app or these tables in the Django admin portal we will have to register like if I refresh on the screen oh I always forget to start the server so you're gonna do that now and then do refresh all right so the to do table is not added here so we're gonna register this app so that we can have it accessible in the admin portal to do that I'm gonna open the admin.py file so I'm gonna import it from the models import task and I'm gonna now register it here I mean dot site dot register task and save it and then refresh here so we can see the app just pop up all right so that is the table name if I click add I can now add the task so I'm gonna add let's say I'm gonna do some coding and that's the the date will be today oh yeah today I'm gonna choose now and I'm gonna click save all right so we have the to do app registered in the admin portal and we can now input data in it so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the like button and if you have any comments put them in the comment section below otherwise see you in the next video